Live Doppler 2X showing dry conditions all across our region, and we're looking at some fantastic weather out there. Beautiful sunny skies, and it looks like we will see a little bit more in the way of that sunshine as we head into tomorrow. Take a look. Here's our network of radars. Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, really not all that much going on. However, as we head a little further off to the west, you can see some rain, even a little freezing drizzle in North Dakota, and some snow down there in Nebraska. This is our next system. Thankfully, it's fairly weak, but you can see all this cloud cover that's going to be spiraling our way as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Now the good news is on the front of this system we have winds out of the southwest so yeah the clouds will build in but our temperatures are actually going to warm up just a little bit. Take a look at this forecast here for tomorrow. Sunny skies to start but towards the afternoon that's when those clouds are going to start to build in. The chance for maybe some rain showers around four or five six o'clock they should all be on the light side and then our temperatures gradually dropping off tomorrow night. Overall though temperatures Temperatures in the 40s, but check this out. 60 degrees in Wichita, 62 in Oklahoma City, and 61 in Memphis. We're going to tap into some of that milder air by the time Monday and Tuesday come along. Yeah, no 60s for us, but I think we will at least make it into the mid-50s. This evening, 39 degrees. Our winds out of the north-northwest at 6 miles an hour, giving us a wind chill of 35. So if you're heading out, keep in mind these temperatures are going to drop off pretty quick. So it is going to get down to the freezing mark within about 3 or 4 hours. Just bring that jacket with you, even if it does feel cold comfortable out. Our average highs and lows, 45 and 28. Today we made it up to 43 and we started off the day at 20. So a fairly average day here in the Miami Valley. And our weather checkers also pretty happy with all the sunshine. Check it out. 40 degrees with Dorothy Nebus in Fairborn, 42 with Jason over in Brookville and 38 degrees down in Clayton with Judy. So again, not a bad afternoon, but as we head on through the overnight period, temperatures dropping down to a low of 25 degrees. It'll be clear and that always means chilly temperatures, especially this time of year. Starting off the day tomorrow, you can see uh, those clouds trying to build in a little bit from the west. So we'll start off with sunny skies around 8 o'clock in the morning, 27 degrees with our winds light out of the south. Now as we head on through the day, those clouds are going to increase. You can even see that rain building through portions of Indiana. I really don't think that'll get here until about 4, 5, or 6 o'clock. We'll top out at around 45 degrees because of those winds out of the south. Scatter shower possible. Then as we continue into Sunday night, there's our chance for a couple of rain showers, but it looks like by Monday morning, most of that should be off to our east, and we'll start to see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Here's your seven-day forecast. Notice temperatures really starting to peak around Monday and Tuesday, but then our chances for rain increase as a big storm system rolls in from the west. It's a big system. It's a slow mover, and as it pulls away on Friday and Saturday, that's when our temperatures are going to drop, and we could see a few light snow showers mixing in on Friday better shot for some flurries on Saturday. Oh, but boy. yeah, it's going to get a little colder. You know, this is that seesaw time of year. You go up a little bit here yep. and down a little bit there. Well, we'll stay jazzy for the next couple of days. Enjoy the 50s. All right. Thanks, Eric. You know